I think people put way too much emphasis on products and just very concerned that they're not gonna be using the right products for their hair. And while yes, products can definitely have an impact in your overall hair journey, I do not think that it's one of the most important things to retain and grow your hair. I think that one, the marketing from all of these companies makes us believe that we need a 10 step moisturizing or wash process, when in reality, we likely only need a few products. And in the beginning, when I was getting started, I became that product junkie where I thought I needed to get, you know, the absolute best deep conditioner, the best shampoo. So I would spend so much money on just trying to find, you know, these magic 4C hair products. And then over time, I realized I can actually get by just fine simplifying my routine to just a couple of products, saving money and saving myself the headache of having to constantly switch things up. So I'm gonna go over what I tend to use for my products. I wouldn't say that I have found a holy grail in a lot of different areas, but I have found products that I work pretty consistently. If something better comes along, then I will switch to it. But as of right now, these are what I typically use. So this is the shampoo that I typically go to. I love anything that has tea tree oil in it because it's really good for your scalp. And I just love the smell of any kind of mint, menthol, eucalyptus. I love that in the shower. I find it to be really relaxing. It also gives it a really nice tingly feeling. So anything with tea tree oil, I like. I know that they say you're supposed to use all products in the same product line, but I I don't always do that because sometimes I'll like a deep conditioner from one line and I like a shampoo from another line and I don't I don't really care if I'm gonna switch it up and, and put them together it's whatever so I like the tea tree oil shampoo but I don't think that their conditioner is conditioning enough for me so my go-to conditioner for the past few years has been the TGIN miracle mask I really enjoy it they use a lot of natural ingredients in their products like honey and aloe vera and the more natural I can get the better so I do enjoy that and I find that my hair has a really nice conditioned soft feeling afterwards it provides a decent amount of slip when I'm working it through my hair and overall it hasn't done anything bad to me so I've just continued to use it and because I'm not washing my hair every day I have so much product that I have to go through maybe once I finish this I'll explore products I really want to try the 4c hair only line but for right now until this product is finished it's been my go-to for deep conditioning and I feel that it gets the job done if I'm doing a twist out where I am gonna be incorporating the LOC method then I like to use water as my liquid, either jojoba oil, Jamaican black castor oil, or the Carol's Daughters oil blend as my oil choice. And then for my cream, I really enjoy the Camille Rose butter or the Miel's pomegranate twisting souffle butter. I think the Camille Rose probably keeps my hair a bit more hydrated, but the pomegranate twisting souffle smells so amazing that I will just continue to buy it for that alone. And I think that the difference between them is not enough to make me, you know, switch over to the Camille Rose. So that's a big deal for me. I used to always do the liquid oil and cream method, but now I only do that if I'm wearing a twist out and I want my hair to have more of a layer of products for more protection towards the elements and to also try to reduce shrinkage as much as possible when I'm wearing my hair in a twist out. When I'm putting my hair into a protective style, I simplify that routine down and I just use a liquid and an oil. So the two oils that I will use is either going to be be jojoba oil. It's the only oil that I like to use on my scalp. Jojoba oil is the oil that mimics our natural scalp oil the closest. I like that because I don't think it's going to overclog my follicles as much as potentially a much thicker oil. But I think that the oil that has been the best at keeping my hair moisturized for a long period of time is real authentic black Jamaican castor oil. And I do not think that Jamaican black castor oils are all created equally. The black Jamaican castor oil that I like to use is made by a company called Called Rooted Treasure and they're actually based out of Jamaica. I got this recommendation from a fellow 4C YouTuber, Nap Queen, rest in peace to her. She was very pivotal in my early natural hair journey. She recommended this company and one thing that I noticed when using their product compared to other Jamaican black castor oils that I would just pick up at like my local Walgreens or CVS, the thickness, the consistency, and the smell of the one made in Jamaica, you could just tell it was real for lack of a better word. It smelled like real Jamaican black castor oil. It it kept my hair moisturized way longer. So if I'm looking for my actual hair strands to be extremely moisturized, I like to use that. But for my scalp, I like to stick with a lightweight oil like jojoba oil. So when it comes to products, I really wouldn't worry about it too much. I do not believe that if you don't use these products that I'm mentioning, that your hair is not gonna grow. A lot of it really is 
going to come down to your own personal experience. So I can recommend that I'm using these products, but you may try them and not like them. Or I may use them now and then in six months no longer like them. The products are not what is going to actually grow your hair. They can help keep your hair moisturized. They can help, you know, detangling go a little bit quicker, but they're not going to be the biggest factor in you being able to grow and retain your length. I don't understand the concept of you have conditioner, a uh, deep conditioner, a leave-in, hair milk, a cream, like, no, no. Shampoo, conditioner, oil, cream, or a butter, and you will be fine. I'm definitely not on that whole no oils, no butter cream wave that I've been seeing going around, but I do understand the concept of how product buildup can make it harder for our hair to absorb moisture over a long period of time. So again, that goes back to you don't need to overdo it. You only need a few products and less is more.